It is my privilege to talk about community and family studies. At our school, the course is often referred to as CAPS. It is a course that allows you to have an ATAR score and head off to university. It's highly academic and requires a lot of literacy skills. It looks at real life and scenarios that exist in our society and very complex issues at time, requiring a lot of critical thinking skills. It offers skills for life that you will need in education, you will need in work, you will need as you participate in society as a productive member. Careers-wise, it allows you to enter a lot of different industries and learn a lot about life and work before you actually head out and off into the real world. In the preliminary course, there are three modules and three major assessment tasks that you will complete. Resource management requires you to do a lot around wellbeing. And in this, you do an assessment task that basically is about your life in terms of a senior student manage the, managing their resources to achieve the goal of completing the HSC. Individuals and groups are looked at in terms of leadership, the way that groups work, and that learning is supported by researching the different avenues and different ventures that people take. Family and Community Studies is the last module that you do in the preliminary course, and it looks at setting you up for success for the IRP. In this area, you will do a literature review on child socialisation, you'll look at family functions, and really you'll make decisions about where to head in your HSC studies. So research methodology is the first unit. You do the IRP, the independent research task, which generally goes over term four and is completed by about week six of term one of your HSC studies. In parenting and caring, you then do an essay. Uh, groups in context, there is a feature article to do on one group that interests you. And then to finish off with, you will do your trial examination. Research methodology centres around doing your IRP, having the skills, knowledge and understanding to get through a research topic or project that you set up for yourself. Parenting caring looks at the duty of care that people take on when they become a parent or a carer. It looks at accessing services to ensure the best interests of both parties. Groups in context, the two main groups that you start studying are people with a disability and youth. From this, you then select two other groups that have difficulties in our society and those groups are then studied in detail so that you are prepared to answer questions on the various groups that need additional support in society, such as the First Nations people and people that may be homeless or in a sole parenting situation. There are a lot of different groups that we look to and ensure that they have equity in our nation. Individuals and Work looks at the nature of work. It looks at setting you up to have the skills and understanding to take your part in the workplace within Australia. It allows you to develop an understanding of the skills you will need as you continue your journey after you leave our school. So if you need further information, head up to the gym. The PE staff can help you out and so can I. Thanks for your time. Signing off, this is Mrs Schumack. Hello and welcome to Stage 6 Dance. My name is Catherine Fisher and together with Melissa Brown, we will take you through the details of the course. Stage 6 dance is offered every second year at Wagga Wagga High School. The course is run as an accelerated program with some advanced year 10 students having the opportunity to commence the course. Wagga Wagga High School is fortunate enough to offer a number of extracurricular dance programs. One of these includes the Senior Dance Ensemble. This ensemble is selected through an audition process at the beginning of each year. Students learn to appreciate and value dance through the interrelated experiences of performing, composing and appreciating dance as an art form. Within practical lessons, students learn to perform combinations, phrases and sequences with due consideration of safe dance practice. 
Students demonstrate the use of the elements of composition in a personal style in response to a stimulus. In appreciation lessons, students utilise the skills of research and analysis to examine dance as an art form within professional dance works. The Stage 6 dance course is a Category A subject which will go towards your ATAR. The course is delivered offline, therefore class is taught in one block each Thursday from 1pm until 5pm. It is important that they commit to the full four hours each week. This course is not appropriate for a student who wishes to study a TAFE course in their senior year. The preliminary dance course has learning opportunities to focus on performance, which is worth 50% of their mark. They look at dance technique and performance quality. Composition, which is worth 30% of their mark. The students will compose through the elements of dance, learning to use a stimulus to develop a concept and intent. And appreciation, which is worth 20% of their mark. The students will research the development of dance in Australia, as well as have an introduction to dance analysis. Students are assessed throughout the year on the foundation of each of these course areas. Assessment tasks include both face-to-face -face performances, interviews and written examinations. The HSE course is an extension of the preliminary course. Students still address the areas of performance, composition and appreciation. However, on top of this are to select a major study area. Students can choose performance, composition, appreciation or dance and technology. This makes up 40% of their overall HSC mark. Students are assessed throughout the year on the, each of these course areas. Assessments are both face-to-face, -face performances, interviews and written examination or task. The HSC practical examinations are completed in August which are before the HSC time period in Term 4. The appreciation exam, however, does take place in Term 4 time slot. Stage 6 dance is broken into four sections. The first is the core performance. In the HSC, students are required to perform a dance on their own, which goes for between three to five minutes. Additionally, they are to conduct an interview with the examiners for up to six minutes. They will focus on safe dance practice and performance quality. The second stage is core composition, which is also 20%. Students are required to compose a three to five minute work on another dancer. Additionally, they will conduct an interview for up to six minutes and also submit a 300 word rationale before the student performs their work. Core appreciation involves the dancer studying two professional dance works. The HSC exam goes for one hour and requires students to answer two essay style questions. Finally, major study, which is 40% of their overall mark, students select um, from an area of performance, composition, appreciation and dance and technology. This is an in-depth study. There are some opportunities for excursions throughout the two-year course, such as HSC Callback, which is an overnight excursion in February to Sydney, the HSC Study Day, which is usually held at Wagga Wagga High School in July, the Wagga Wagga High School Dance Spectacular, which is at the end of Term 2, held at Wagga Wagga High School, and the Riverina Dance Festival, which is usually held in June in either Wagga Wagga, Albury or Griffith. For further information, please see Miss Melissa Brown in the PDHPE staff room or Mrs Catherine Fisher in the Head Teacher Administration staff room. We are with Olivia Muir, who completed her HSC dance course in 2019. Olivia, who should choose Stage 6 dance? Anyone who is a motivated and passionate individual when, comes, when it comes to performance in dance, their creativity in dance and their ability for writing of dance analysis. So Olivia, can you please tell us what personal skills you had to assist you with stage six dance? Personal skills that I developed while studying HSC stage six dance included a basic knowledge of contemporary dance technique, appreciation of ballet, the willingness to exit my comfort zone, an interest in anatomy, biomechanics and body maintenance, time management, 
motivation to learn and the ability to be an independent learner. Can you please tell us what skills you developed whilst doing the Stage 6 dance course? Skills that I have developed through the course includes um, allowing me to explore the creative abilities, improving my technical ability, improving my critical analysis, the improvement of my overall fitness and the improvement of my self-confidence and self-motivation. Hi and welcome to Tune at PD Health PE. I'm just going to go through a few reasons why you should choose this subject. This is an ACAR subject. It is a highly demanding course with a large amount of theory content. I will firstly go through the preliminary course. This is made up of course strands and options. You will look at better health for individuals and the body in motion within the course strand. In the body in motion, we look at anatomy, the bones, muscles, and how the body works. Within better health for individuals, we look at how the, a person improves in their healthcare. The options are made up of four areas. You only need to choose two. Within these four, there are first aid, composition and performance, fitness choices, and outdoor recreation. The HSC is set up in a similar way. Once again, you have the core strands and the options where you only choose two again. The core strands, we have health priorities in Australia, factors for affecting performance. Within the health priorities in Australia, we look at CVD, cancer, diabetes, and a few other illnesses. We also look at groups at risk. Within the factors affecting performance, we look at how a person trains and improves on performance. From the two options that you have selected, we look at the health of young people, sport and physical activity in Australia, sports medicine, improving performance, and equity and health. This subject leads on to many career pathways. Some of these are to become a PE teacher, physiotherapist, coach, referee, swim school instructor, dance instructor, and so forth. Within this subject, it also leads on to university opportunities. Some of these would include Bachelor of Health and Fitness Management, Bachelor of Applied Science Physiotherapy, or maybe a Bachelor of Health Science. It is important to speak to the careers advisor for specific prerequisites for all university courses. Even if your pathway is a university, this course can also lead to TAFE and further study opportunities. Within that, some of these might be Certificate 3 or 4 Fitness, Diploma in Fitness, Diploma in Outdoor Recreation, or Sports Management courses. If you need any further information about this subject, you can go to the following website, educationstandards.newsouthwales.edu.au ED Health PE syllabus. One of the PDHP subjects that we offer at Wagga High School is Sport, Lifestyle and Recreation. It's a two-unit course that you can do in Year 11 and Year 12. The course is commonly known as Sport as SLR and it aims to improve students' knowledge, understanding and skills needed to adopt active and health-promoting lifestyles. Um, it's a category, category C subject, which does not contribute to your ATAR, but it can contribute to your preliminary ROSA and your HSC. The course is predominantly um, practical and with a little bit of theory. So what that would look like in your weekly timetable is two periods of theory and four periods of practical. Um, the learning opportunities across year 11 and year 12 are interrelated. So we focus on the, what the factors are that influence health and participation, um, the principles that are behind a quality performance, and we look at how to promote health activity and enhance performance. SLR topics depend on the student needs and interests each year, so they can change between year 11 and year 12 and change on a yearly basis. So the common SLR topics that we do offer are aquatics, athletics, healthy lifestyle, first aid and sports injuries, 
individual games and sports, sports coaching, games and sports applications one and two, sports ad administration, resistance training, fitness, and the social perspective of games and sports. Assessment tasks in SLR, so you'll be doing three in year 11 and three in year 12. They predominantly, again, um, have a practical and a theory theoretical component. So some assessment tasks might be a bit of both. Others might be all practical or theory. Um, in SLR, we do not do any yearly exams. Excursion fees. So each year there is a fee for SLR and the fee actually covers all the excursions that we offer throughout the year to help us implement the course. So the fee is $30 a term and you'll need to pay that each term or you can pay it as a yearly fee. Um, if you're interested in doing SLR in year 11, come up to the gym and have a chat to any of the PE teachers and they can give you some more information.